Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am here along with Alexis. You want to introduce yourself, Alexis? Yes, hello, everyone. It's Alexis from Mobile Notary Services by Alexis. How are you all doing this evening? Hey, guys. It has been a moment since we have been live. We have been so busy. We're going to bring you up to speed. What's going on at Notary Educators? Got my shirt on tonight. Um, I've been working all day, so um, in Notary Educators mode today. (laughs) So I got my shirt on, but how's everybody doing? It has been a moment. What's up? What's up? Hey, Frank, notary down south, favorite Florida notary there. What's going on? Hey, Chantel, welcome, welcome to those who will join us on the replay also. So um, tonight's topic is notary mistakes to avoid. And we're going to get right into it because we don't have maybe like 30 minutes So I want to make sure we can get some of your questions in tonight, but I definitely want to hit our topic for those who came just for the topic. A couple of things happened recently. So I went to a a signing um, two days ago. Shout out to Stacey Ann. She came to be my witness short notice from about, I don't know, I think she lives maybe 45 minutes to an hour from me. But shout out to Stacey Ann because she is always there, there. Marcel is always there too. She helped me a couple of times last week. So we got such a great community. If you need some help, join our Notary Facebook group, Notary Educators, because there are people who are willing to be witnesses for you. If you cannot find a witness, there's a shortage of them right now. Hey, Chantel. No, I'm not selling any shirts. No, girl. That's a good idea, though. But I don't have any shirts. I do have the mugs. Check out NotaryEducatorsLLC.com. We got some beautiful mugs. I don't know why they don't sell. They're so cute with cute little sayings on them. If you all yeah. check out the mugs and see something that I could be doing different, let me know because I'm open to changing the mugs. But I thought they were so cute. So check them out. They got little sayings like I'm ready to stamp. I got this. Um, questions equal money. All my little sayings. It's not complicated. So check out the mugs at NotaryEducatorsLLC.com. So, hey, Notary Needs, MoFit. To Lynn, I hope that's right. Is it to Lynn? And also notary needs. Hello, hello. What's going on with you all? So um, tonight's topic, let's get right into it. Um, so I was on my way to an assignment. That's what I was going to say. So the day before I filmed the video for my other channel, I was sitting in the car. And guess what I did? I had the light. I needed more light. So I cut the overhead light on in the car. And I forgot to cut it off. Hey, Stacey Ann, I just gave you a big shout out. Who's that on Facebook, Alexis? I forgot to cut the overhead light off, guys. So I was um, TMI. I was sitting in the restroom downstairs. We get ready to go out because my husband was driving. And I'm sitting downstairs. And I hear, I was like, is that my car? I said, what the world? I said, oh, Lord, I got a car problem. And then two seconds literally later, I said, I didn't cut the light off. So we already were running a few minutes late. We were not late, late, but for me, it was late. I'm the kind of person I like to be on time. So if you tell me seven o'clock, I'm going to be there at 645. Okay. If I'm there at seven, I'm late. So we had just enough time. The appointment was 10 minutes away to get to the appointment for me not to consider myself late. It was like 15 minutes to get there. So I hear, eh, 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 and I said, oh. So he's looking, I'm looking, and I, like I said, I told him what happened. So we went in his car, and that got me to thinking. I almost missed my appointment for something crazy. So you want to make sure, guys, that one, you don't leave your overhead light on in the car, number one. 
Two, make sure you have plenty of gas in your vehicle to get to the appointment. Because I've had that happen before, too. Um, Alexis, can you talk about that really quick while I get this call? It's business. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I'm the type of person who I get, I get this from my grandmother. I said it all the time. But I make sure my car is always on full. Because if you get in the car and it's a quarter of a tank and you got to go an hour there, um, let's say you have to stop at a gas station, you can't account for traffic, especially if you live in my area, Atlanta, you can never, ever expect or know what traffic is going to be. So if you have only a short amount of time and you got to stop and get gas, that could be an extra 10, 15 minutes. Don't let the gas station, you know, be bumping where so many people you can't even get through it. The one by me especially is like that. So just make sure you always have gas in your car. Um, if I have a half a tank, I'm going to the gas station and filling up. Um, and you don't want to get stuck anywhere either and miss your appointment. So if you don't have any gas, I've seen it before. People run out of gas all the time. I've seen it happen plenty of times to people. And like I said, it it's the difference of 10 to 15 minutes. That can make you late. <laughs> Yes. And I know me too with gas. Um, I always like to make sure you do have a route that you, you know, you like to follow. So I go to a specific gas station because I know that it's not crazy there, especially if I have a morning assignments. Um, that's for anything though. Just make sure you map out your day. I have been late to an assignment before. Um, general no rework speaking. I have been late due to gas, just like been late to work before <laughs> due to not having any gas. Cause I don't know if it's like that by you all, but the gas station, it's a line of people trying to get gas in the morning or in the evening, isn't that? But you don't want to get stuck anywhere. We always want to prepare and be prepared. Um, I know it's difficult, life happens. You know, every single day is a new day with something different that's going to come up, that's life. but those little tiny things that we can do to stay prepared and, you know, make sure we can get to places in time. I feel like those make the difference. And those tiny things like, like Kimmy said, making sure your light is not left on. Um, especially if you have an older vehicle, make sure your light is off in your car. I did it before, came out, and my car would not start. And that is the difference of for me, more like 15 to 20 minutes because I had to let the battery charge. And so those little things definitely, definitely add up. <laughs> Jasmine, oh, it's a high watching you guys on my baby is sleeping on me. I know that's right, Jasmine. You got to get it done whichever way you can. Jay Aura, hello, hello. Sorry if I pronounce this incorrectly. Nay, Demar. Says hello, ladies. Hello, how are you doing, Donna McMillan? Hello, good evening, everyone. Yes, they see. Uh, Kimmy gave you a shout out earlier. Max says good evening. Good evening. Natural Jesse says hi, ladies. Yes, Stacy Ann. Oh yes, and Stacy Ann says make sure the GPS is not crazy. I got lost in Gainesville. Yes. So, yes, I have had plenty of times where, especially if the place is up and coming, like development wise, I've had crazy situations with GPS and I could not find where my client was because they had a newer home and it wasn't on Google Maps yet. I'm a. You said her mic was off. OK, sorry, you guys. I can hear you now. Uh huh. Oh, OK. But yeah, Sorry so the about GPS, that. I had to um, get, that, um, get that call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just talking about how the GPS can mess you up sometimes to make sure you're yes, prepared. Yes, that's that. another Stacey good Ann one. had commented on it. Yes, they see has said that. Yes, yeah, that's that another good one. Google Maps. Yes, have more than one GPS available too sometimes because, um, like I, I missed it because I was taking that call. See, we are really working notaries around here. That was a seller's package for tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so with that GPS too, with the street, I don't know if you mentioned this one, Alexis, but if it's southwest or northwest, 
you want to make sure you confirm that address with your client because if you don't have that sometimes that'll throw the whole gps off also okay so are we ready for the next point i know i was talking about the car yeah. so we took another one took our other vehicle rather and then that was well alexis caught y'all up on a couple other tips sorry this is a little choppy but this is real life um another one leaving your notary bag at home so i wish angela was here to discuss that one because she did have that happen i hope she don't mind me sharing her business not recently but it did happen she left her notary bag at home she got to the appointment ready to go and it's like <gasps> and that happens when you change cars have you ever had that happen alexis no i have not but i have had a situation where long story short my stamp got um uh, disconnected from my bag i'll say it i'll put it like that i had did something quick for somebody brought my stamp inside the house bag was in the car the only reason why i remember is because i had to go back inside to grab something and i saw it sitting there and i was like okay that's rule number one always make sure the two are together and my bag is somewhere like near the door I, that's my spot especially if i have to bring it in the house for some reason it's always going to be by the door so i can see it on my way out the door if i don't feel like going back and put it in the car but I always have to just have organization because I have almost left my stamp at home. Yes, yes, always together like peanut butter and jelly. Yes. And I, um, I've done that before. I have left my bag because we changed cars so much. So I have left my bag in my car or thought, oh, I had put it in Jeff's car or you know what I'm saying? So when I don't though, normally he has had his bag, which has been a blessing. And one other time, fortunately me, Angela and a few other friends and Jeff was with us too. We all had went out to lunch and I got a call. And I'm telling this person, oh, yeah, I'll be there in a half hour. Notary extraordinaire. I did not only not have my, my bag, I even had my car. <laughs> I forgot we rode with somebody. So <laughs> Angela had her bag that day. So she was able to serve as the notary. And I was able to be the witness. So we just reversed roles. So have you a, a notary buddy? I'm telling you. You don't have to be BFF outside of work if you're not, but you need somebody on your team. You need somebody in your area that you can say, hey, I got you. You got me because anything can happen anytime. So y'all have made all these big plans. I'm sitting up there. Everybody like, oh, Kim getting her Sunday money because it was on a Sunday. And it was like, Kim getting her Sunday Monday money. And I was like, oh, y'all be there. And I was like, as soon as I hung up, I realized I didn't have no car, no bag, no nothing. But again, Angela was prepared. So somebody got to be prepared at all times. So don't leave your notary bag or your stamp at home. Always make sure you have it with you. And not to mention, I can't tell you the number of times I've had my T-shirt on and somebody stopped me and say, hey, you a notary. I need one right now. And I'm like, oh, OK. Or you leaving out the store. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's always how your bag. And what about forgetting your documents? Have you ever ran to an appointment and it's like, I left the documents sitting on the printer? Have you ever did that, Alexis? No, I have not, thankfully. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> but I can see it happening. Yeah. I have your mind never goes done so that fast. One. Yeah, I have never done that. One. Alexis, it seems like you the miss perfect notary over there. No, not by no, not at all. I said I can see it happening. Your mind moving so quickly, you know. But I try to double check and triple check because I am that type of person. Like I have so much going on in the moment, and I'm like, okay, what what was the main reason I'm about to walk out the house? Let me make sure that's together. Right, right. So I usually have my thoughts either on the side of my bed. I'm looking at them, thinking about them. No, I'm not like that. But once I prep them, though, they usually go on my nightstand or I put them right at the on the table on the way out the door so i always try to make sure i have my docs and i'm kind of like alexis i'm a little ocd you already know that i'm like where my bag where my docs when i'm going somewhere because i don't i want to make sure i have everything together i rarely wait to the same day to print i hate same day but it happens more often than not but um you know to get an assignment or whatever but always make sure you have your docs how about having your ink stamp and it doesn't have enough ink in it has that ever happened to you not yet Remember, I was telling you today that the ink, my stamp didn't go out yet. Yeah. So you need to, um, so always have some extra ink with you um, yes. for everyone. And I actually have never had it to run out, but I've had it to look kind of faint. And yes. that's like a no go. I like my stamp to be dark, like black, mm -hmm. like jet black and shiny jet black. So I like to keep a lot of ink in it. So when I'm refilling mine, uh, most of the time, 
I can put like, I think five drops and it's okay. But I usually put like six and try to push that seven drop mark. Cause I want to make sure my stamp, when I, when I press that baby it's black and it's standing out. So you want to make sure you always have some extra ink because especially if you're doing a lot of uh, long signing packages and stuff, you do not want to run out of ink. Hey to everybody that's joining us. There was a little short um, time there. I had to step away while I was still here, but I was on the phone trying to book an appointment for tomorrow, which we got that booked um, sellers package. So anyway, the next one I had is, oh, I had that twice. Okay. So I think that's it. I had one more, but earlier I accidentally deleted my notes. So if something else comes to me, I will definitely tell you guys. So that's it for me. So notary mistakes really quick to avoid. Make sure you don't leave your lights on in the car. Make sure you have a good GPS. You don't leave your notary bag at home. You don't forget your documents and your ink stamp is completely filled up or you have a backup. I don't really like to be inking nothing at nobody's table. So I'm trying to make sure I have everything organized before I leave the house. So I am going to do another video soon about the importance of having a clean bag. So we're going to talk about that. It's little things like that that we take for granted. You know, I do have, have one more. Yeah, go ahead, Alexis. Make sure you have, this happened to me, make sure you have your root certificate because you never know. That you know, was it. Need that was my last one. Thank you. That was it. Oh, I had this happen to me and it cost me 30 minutes of my time. Long story short, I had ran out of certificates because I use them a lot. Ran out and I was like, I'll reprint them. Forgot to reprint them. Completely forgot to reprint them. Went out on an assignment. She had to wait 30 minutes for her neighbor to go print off some. It because she didn't have a printer. A lot of people don't have printer printers nowadays. I'm finding it's not like a common household, you know, item. Mm -mm. So um, yeah, make sure you always, always have them. I was so mad at myself. Like I literally ran home that day and printed off some. A whole bunch of <laughs> different ones. <laughs> oh, I was so mad at myself. <laughs> that was my last one I had. Make sure you have plenty of extra jurats or acknowledgments and or your stamps. And if you don't have the stamps I'm talking about, visit notaryeducatorsllc.com under the supply list. And you can purchase a jurat or an acknowledgement stamp. Most states you can use it. So I'm going to always say check your state. But those really make it clean and simple to add a notorial um, verbiage if you don't um if the document doesn't have it okay so if some of that went over your head you may need a little bit of training it would be our pleasure check out notary educators llc.com for all your training needs all the courses are 60 percent off coupon code is win 23 we are offering a uh, offering in case you missed it private classes on everything one to one and they are selling like amazingly great people really want one-on-one -on -one training okay so you may be investing money in monthly mentorship and you still don't really know what to do you might need one good notary session with one of us depending on what part of the business you're trying to learn either learning how your basic notarizations your google my business your apostille but we are offering one-to-one -one trainings um i know for sure for the month of may so take it. Um, so sign up, look at the website and you can see what works for you. If you prefer self-paced, those are also available. But the one on ones, I'm, I'm just really shocked at how well they're doing. I really am. The classes, we decided to put that on hold for a moment. But one to one private lessons, people are going crazy for them. They're loving it. And it really touches us, too, because we can really get deep into what you need for your state, for you, for, you know, everything. So it's been going amazing. So check those out. Anyway, let's get some of your questions right quick. What is going on in the notary space? So while we wait on your questions, I'm going to tell you why we have not been live. So GoDaddy, which is who I send my emails out. And if you are not on the email list, you might have been receiving them. The last six weeks or so, because you had signed up for maybe an event that we had, and I was able to send out emails to everyone that had registered for an event. But now GoDaddy has changed it where you actually have to subscribe to the email list. You can't, I can't just blindly send it out anymore. So if you have not signed up to receive emails, you'll want to do that over at um, Notary Educators website. Because, again, I cannot just blindly send them out anymore. 
So you have to actually register that you want to be a subscriber for emails, if that all makes sense, because I don't want you to miss anything. So that's it. So what's going on out in the notary space? What's up? What's up? Any questions? Let me look right quick while Alexis is on her call. Mo Fit. Hello. Hello. What's up? Jasmine. Hey, Jay. Is it Nate and Mar? Hey, Nettie Mar. Donna, what's going on? Just say hey to a few people. Hey, Mag. Natural Jesse's in the house. Make sure GPS is not crazy yet. <laughs> yes. Hey, Atlanta Fulton Notary. I'm just being me, Stacy Ann, Stacy and Carleen, Jasmine, Melissa, Latasha. What's going on, people? Larice. I hope I didn't miss anyone. So, what questions do you all have, Regina? I'm kind of scrolling down to the questions. So Psalms 55 underscore five says, and hi to everyone on Facebook. Alexis has Facebook, so I can't see it. But hi to everyone on Facebook and those who will watch the replay. Psalms 50 underscore five says, I was at a signing and my stamp broke and busted on the ground. Never again will I travel without a backup. Yes. And that is 101. That's what we teach. If your state allows you to have more than one, you should have more than one. Stacey Ann says charge that phone before you go. Yes, I think, I don't know if I mentioned that one, but that was on my first list about charging your phone, making sure it doesn't die on you. Because you need that phone for a lot of reasons. The signing company may call you. You may need it to, for your GPS. The client may be trying to call you to reschedule or tell you something about the, you know, the property, where to park, anything. So your phone is so important. See, Nene, I'm not that organized. She said, have extra clothes in the car. You should. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Extra shoes, too. Stacey Ann, yes, because she be rocking her heels. <laughs> she does. She said, especially since I rock heels. Yes, an extra pair of shoes. And I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but it was such a thing called, like, COVID shoes. A lot of people's shoes, because they hadn't worn them in, like, two, three years, Due to the pandemic, they were like dry rot. I actually had that happen to me, two pair, a pair of sandals. Unfortunately, I just bought a new pair. I was going to take a little trip and I had a new pair of little flip-flop sandals. So fortunately, I had those. I would have really been stuck. So I always have an extra pair of shoes, especially with them flip-flops. Um, yet, Talyn's taking training. Yes, I have a seven o'clock tonight. Stacey answered she loved all of her training. Okay, I'm just being me. I hope I'm getting to your question. A lot of price comparison calls. Yeah, that I do not like, Stacey Ann. I don't like that. I'd rather somebody call straight up. Don't call me playing like you a client. Stacey Ann, um, I don't know if we, well, I don't even have time tonight, but I would love to address that. I'm, I'm going to do a video on that because don't be calling other notaries and see how much they charge. They don't have time for that. That is an irritant. I know people are teaching you to do that compared to price shopping, but that does that's not cool. I think that's so unprofessional. I really do. Don't call me asking me how much and pretending like you a client. I had a couple people do that for our pastilles. And I said, I'm going to start asking them straight up. Are you another notary? Because I don't have time to play games like that. I'm trying to get real phone calls, you know? Why are you trying to develop your business? There is a sheet out there. I don't have it, but I've seen it before where there you can you can Google it too. What's the average cost of a notary in my area or whatever? But don't be playing on people's phone. That's like five years old, playing on people's phone, calling. How much, you know, acting like you're a whole client. And, you know, no, I'm sorry. That's an irritant for me. Um, Native Mars says, I got my book today. Yay, congrats. I'm sure it's going to help you on your journey, and we appreciate the support, too. Get that business started. Hey, Jessica and Chester Henry. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, Julia. Ocean Springs, Mississippi in the house. And Tillin, Tillin says, I'm new to the platform. Okay, great. Welcome, welcome. Max says, not a question, but stay safe, everyone. I had a client last week ask me to start a family with him after my notarization. What? You know what? It's so funny. You said right, that. Guys. So I had somebody. I'm about to answer this. So this is what Meg said, girl. Meg said, not a question, but she had somebody ask her to start a family with them after the notarization. That was so inappropriate. So I had a guy today. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I had okay. a guy. Yeah, I had a guy call me today, and he didn't even know my, I was married or whatever. You don't know nothing about me, and I had the phone on speaker, so my husband's standing there. Now, what if my husband was a different kind of person? So he calls and say, "Hey, remember we supposed to have a date?" I was like, "What?" I said, "Who is this?" He said, "Yeah." He said, "It's Michael." I was like, "Michael, who?" <laughs> okay. So he got my number from somebody. But I don't play like that. I never no. have. That's not, that is not, um, I was telling my husband, that's not attractive to me. You calling and playing games like that. I'm fully grown. You know, you don't know yeah. who's standing by me. Matter of fact, my husband was standing there. He's talking about we supposed to have a date. What? <laughs> Sometimes, I'm going to tell you the truth. People take liberties. Now, I ain't even got this much time to go there. But that, that was out of control. If you feel unsafe at a signing, be gone. Yeah, get your stuff and leave, and let them know. And I would simply put it in a very nice way: call them while you're on the way out the door. Yeah, so safety comes first always. Yes, and I might would even say, you know, I think that was slightly inappropriate as I'm packing yeah. up my stuff. You know, let them know you felt uncomfortable. I'm getting at a stage now <clears throat> that I'm becoming a little bit more vocal about stuff. Um. You know, you reach a certain age and it's like in life and it's like, you know what, whatever. So, yeah, if somebody make you feel uncomfortable, which I'm sure that made you feel uncomfortable and you put it very nicely here. I can't even imagine what he actually said. Um, So I'm just being me says I would like to get the Florida pr primer book. Do I need to be a member of the NNA in order to. No, you don't have to be a member of the NNA. They'll sell you anything you want. Yeah. You do not have to be a member. Um, I, I'm not sure about the acknowledgements and Jurats. They may sell those too. I mean, you could buy anything. Yeah. And before you buy it, check out my YouTube video. I just did about, do you even need the primer? I did a, a video on that just last week, I think, or two weeks ago. Hey, Marjorie, what's going on? Hello, everyone. Went to the post office and the clerk was happy to take my cards. She hung them for her and her postal workers on the wall while I was there. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That is very nice. Yeah. Julia says, oh, that gets on my nerves. Just call and ask me. Yes, Julia know exactly what I'm talking about. We were talking about Alexis while you were gone. Um, somebody, Stacey answered she receives a lot of calls so she can tell his other notaries just shopping her prices. What's I thought that just that? now. I thought that just now, I the, the way the conversation was you? going, yes, that's why it was a little. That's why I took a minute because I was like, "Who is this girl?" Do but tell yeah, what happened. The way she was just asking questions, it seemed like as if she, you know, a lot of people don't know anything about notaries, but um, the way she was asking questions, I'm thinking it's another notary, and I was going to say, you know, I'm doing something right now. Let me call you back because I thought that it was another notary at first, but then as I start asking a little, you know, a few questions. Um, basically she has some type of adoption paperwork she has to get done every year so she is familiar with the process mm -hmm. but she was asking certain questions that the general public does not know so I'm like who is this <laughs> but yeah it was a client <laughs> we are going to have that conversation but we're going to wait for Angela I think we need okay. Angela yeah, that's going to be good dog. get your drinky drink and we're going to have Angela and we're going to talk about some stuff like that we're going to call it all out yeah, we need a little Angela on that one. Oh, Angela <laughs> couldn't be with us tonight in case you didn't tell. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Welcome, everybody who's joining us on the live. So Stacey Ann says, yes, yes, just do your business. Yes. So Atlanta Fulton Notary says, I'm looking forward to my one-on-one -on -one coaching session, but my question is, do I need a stamp and embosser? Hi, Atlanta Fulton. Yes, I'm looking forward to your session, too. Um, you can watch my video on embosser and stamp to see how to use it and everything. But yes, I always recommend an embosser. I know a lot of newer, younger notaries are like, that's outdated. You don't have to have one. And you do not. It is not a requirement, but it makes you look like the boss notary that we want you to be a notary educators. When you pull out that embosser and that gold seal, hey, that's the word boss is an embosser. Did you get that? <laughs> Yes, that's my rapping skills coming out. So anyway, but yeah, that gold seal, you put that thing on that paper, people be like, they go crazy. You look like the like the boss notary. So yes, invested in the boss or some gold seals. It's 40 bucks. Make you look good. 
Always use your embosser along with your regular stamp, okay? And if your state does not permit, which is not that many that don't. Now, some states may say you cannot only use an embosser because the ink stamp is the industry standard nowadays, okay? The ink stamp is the industry standard, but the embosser just makes it look pretty. Like you got all dressed up, now you throw on your lipstick or your eyeshadows or what you call them things, lashes. That's just a little touching, okay? A little icing on the cake. Uh, welcome to everyone that is here. Uh, Down, South Notary, Down South Notary says, do you still rock your custom notary bag? I do. I still love my bag. I'm actually on my second one, girl, because Jeffrey one day was going in my bag and broke my zipper. He's very heavy handed. And I was like, don't be touching my stuff. So I'm on my second bag. I bought the exact same bag because I love it so much. It fit everything so perfectly. Yeah. So he broke my bag. My zipper, because he's very heavy-handed. And he just go, Rip! and I was like, hey, did it just break? <laughs> and he's like, oops. I was like, okay, that's another story. So, Notary D says, do you see the difference between the 12th and the 13th edition of our handbook? I didn't buy another one. I don't ever see no updates. If you see something I should know, let me know. <laughs> but I've not bought another handbook. Angela no. told me it was not. To be clear, did you buy the new handbook, Alexis? No. Yeah, you don't have to. Mm -mm. Let me not tell you what you have to do, but I did I not. Pay ten dollars if you want. Yeah, if you want to get a new you know, one, it's ten dollars. Well, I don't know if the new one ten dollars, but it was ten. <laughs> no, they still ten dollars. Our book they is ten dollars yeah. in Georgia. Yeah, so if you want to get you one, go ahead. But the only reason I'm I'm pushing back is because I already highlighted my other one. You know, it's already ready for me. So let's see this one. Max is super creepy. I'm 25, which he knew he was in his 60s. He asked me to dinner and then text me, oh, that he likes me and wants to explore more. Girl, Leave I am so sorry that happened to you. I am so sorry. Yeah, check our video. We did a whole video about notary safety a few months back. Go back and watch that video, everybody. Notary safety. Okay, she says my boyfriend and I share locations. I keep a little taser on me just in case. <laughs> yes, pepper spray, taser. Yeah, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that that happened to you, and it it did leave a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, Stacey Ann said make sure you speak up and share your location. Very good. Donna says there's a 13th edition that's been released in Georgia, so make sure you buy the most recent. There's a 13th release. All right. Hey, Mr. Leisure. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Marcel. We gave you a shout out earlier. You and Stacey Ann. Always down to help us. Uh, let's see. Stacey Ann says, "Got go down to the question list and charge. Whole farm, you are a specialty. They must have been having a private conversation. Oh, Max says, my clients love to see the embosser. LOL. I got to put that on the little chart. Hashtag embosser. Oh, I love it. And but she got she has E M capital B O S S E R. I love it. Grandmaster Kimmy. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is that on Facebook, Alexis? Let's get these last couple. I'm trying to go to it now. Um at 8, 6 30. And if anybody let's see. I can read it, but I can't see who I it is. I don't even yeah, I don't even see it on my end. That's what I'm saying. Facebook was just so it says I, I signed up with two mm -hmm. companies for NSA. What are some tips on how to get loan signings? Sorry, Facebook, we can't see your oh, name. Oh, that's Katrina. I can see it now. Hey, it's Katrina. Katrina Henry. Hey, Katrina. Yes. Yeah, so check out my video on how to sign it with 100 companies and how to become the preferred notary signing agent. I think I have a whole notary signing agent playlist. You want to make sure your profile picture is there. Just a few tips. Make sure your profile picture is there. You want to make sure your um, description of what you can do, your bio is nice and um, straightforward, not a lot of fluff. Um, actually, another one you want to check out is the notary resume, because that's going to give you some tips if you don't have a lot of experience, what you can put on your um, profile, okay? So, uh, fortunately, people, we do have to head out because I have a 7 o'clock. But we did want to hop on because it's just been a minute. I've really been missing you all, but I did not have a way to just let everybody know. And I know if I went live and I didn't try to let as many people know, I would be in trouble. 
So don't forget, if you're just joining us, go back and sign up for the actual email list. Because just because you signed up for an event in the past, I was able to send you an email. But now GoDaddy has changed it where you actually have to sign up for the email list. So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, Alexis, anything you want to say? No. <laughs> All right, people. Well, until next time, as always, Notary Life with Kimmy. Alexis, mobile service, mobile notary services by Alexis. And on behalf of Angela, who could not make it, we are notary educators. And we're going to say have a great night. Be successful. And yes. we wish you all the best. Okay. Bye, guys. Until next time. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.